what is up? It is Nick, and I'm home this weekend. I'm at my house, so I don't have my Xbox. Uh, so I thought I'd bring you a video here um, of my fantasy football team. This is uh, my six-person league, doing amazingly well. I love my team. Um, so yeah, let's just go through this real quick. Uh, so quarterback, I got Michael Vick. I traded for him. I was a little bit of a dumb trade, but uh, he hasn't let me down yet except for getting hurt. So I'm perfectly okay with uh, the trade. Uh, Des Bryant is my wide receiver number two, uh, monster. Uh, wide receiver number three, the reason is Jarrett Boykin is because Reggie Wayne got hurt, so he got off my team, and um, I'll show you the other reason it's farther down on my team. Uh, Jamal Charles, I've uh, been playing like a man possessed, he's amazing, happy I got him. Jordan Cameron, I picked him up like week two or three, he's been playing amazing. Uh, MJD, I traded for him. Um, and right when I traded for him was when they played the Broncos, I believe, and he had that game where he got like 16 points or something like that. So he's been doing good since I picked him up. I uh, got McFadden. McFadden has been playing good. He got hurt, uh, but he seems to be go okay to go now. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how he does. Uh, Tony G. Um, I'm thinking about putting Cameron on the bench. Uh, I'd go like this, probably. Put Cam switch Cameron and Tony G. And then put Cameron on the bench. Got Peyton Manning. Uh, he's just, what can you say about Peyton? I drafted him as my second pick. Um, and Yahoo called me stupid and a bunch of people did. But, hey, he's performed admirably. I took Brady with my first pick and he's he's doing, I, I don't really put it on him. It's more of his receivers, but he's having a rough year. Um, on my bench, I got Josh Gordon. Uh he came off of suspension, and he's been playing amazing. 11 points, that's kind of low, but I guess he's got to go up against Brandon Flowers, so that's reasonable. Uh, Dwayne Bowe, uh, I traded for him and Dez in one trade, so Dez has worked out. Uh, Bowe, on the other hand, has not really, uh, so that's questionable. I think I traded, I forget who I traded. I traded Steve, it was like Steve Smith for Bowe, and I forget who for Dez. Uh, but Bowe really hasn't worked out. I'm thinking about uh, dropping him. Uh, swapping him for Terrence Williams, uh, the Cowboys wide receiver. Uh, so if any of you uh, can give me a little bit of advice, let me know if I should drop Bo for Terrence Williams. Uh, yeah, or anybody else on my team for Terrence Williams. But it'd probably just be Boykin, Gordon, or Bo. Uh, but there's Brady. Uh, he's just sitting in there as my third quarterback for pretty much when Peyton or Vic has a buyer if one of them gets hurt. Um, then I got Arian Foster, who is on a bye, also playing amazing. Um, really don't have complaints about my team. It's, it's pretty darn good. Uh, here's the other reason why Boykin is starting is because Roddy White is out. I traded for Roddy White. Uh, I traded uh, M for MJD. I traded um, uh, Stevie Johnson, which is kind of a bad trade, but I have plenty of wide receivers and plenty of running backs, so I thought I'd take the risk on MJD and trade for him. Um, then Roddy White, I traded Alex Smith for him. Uh, I traded him right before Julio Jones got injured for the season. I traded for Roddy White, so that was amazing. Uh, lucky trade there. And I didn't need Alex Smith, as you can see. I got Brady, Vic, and Manning, so I'm all set on quarterbacks. Uh, also got DeMarco Murray, who is questionable. I don't know if I want to play him or not, uh, just simply because I don't know how many carries he's going to get. They got Lance Dunbar and stuff and company, so I don't know how many snaps he's going to get. It does have him projected to get 18 points, so that's pretty good. I don't know, I may start him over Cam... I don't know who I want to play. Um, and then I got Steven Jackson. I picked him up uh, when he was injured. I uh, thought maybe when he comes back... I picked him up the same time I got Roddy, um, just thinking that maybe when he comes back, they don't have Julio, so they need to run the ball. I think... <coughs> Sorry. Jaquiz Rogers has been doing pretty good, uh, and Steven Jackson's a better running back, so I think they, sh I think, I think he should have be good when he comes back full. I'm not gonna play him this week because he is coming back his first game since week two, uh, so I'm gonna hold off on him. Um, but I don't know what I want to do with Cameron. I think, I think I might take the risk and play Murray over Cameron. I don't know. Let me know. Uh, but I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna set that as my lineup right now. Uh, my kicker is Matt Bryant. I, I, when I traded um, for Vic, uh, I traded my kicker. I drafted Seabass, um, but I don't know. 
kicker kickers never really get me a bunch of points. Uh, the kickers that I want, like Gostowski, Prater, um, there's a couple. Those are the two main ones that I want. Uh, all are already taken. They were drafted way before. I draft my kicker last because I really don't care about my kicker. Um, and then my defense, I got the Patriots defense. I drafted the... Who does defense I draft originally? I drafted the Texans defense originally, but then I just... I had to go with the Patriots. The Patriots defense is good, and especially now uh, they're playing Miami. They should have a field day with sacks because uh, the Miami... Tannehill is the most sack QB, so... They should get some sacks. They forced a turnover, and I don't know how many straight games. Uh, so hopefully they'll get me a pick, maybe a touchdown. Uh, so that's good. As you can see, let's see here. Let's go to my matchup. Matchup. Okay. So you can see I'm playing against uh, my friend Thomas. Uh, he already had the Carolina defense play. They got him nine points. Uh, but I'm supposed to project it to get 204 points. Uh, which is just insane. I have hit 200 a lot. I hit like I've gotten like two 230 is my highest. I think uh, we'll go back. I'll go back and look at all my uh, all my weeks. We'll go back to week one. So week one, I started out. I got 203 points. Let's see here. Can I go like this? Well, 203 points. Uh, started Brady over Vic. Uh, that Manning 50 point game really helped me out. Uh, this is PPR League, if you didn't know. Vic had 30. So if I would have played him over Brady, I could have gotten 211. Um, I had EJ Manuel ba way back there. Uh, Darren McFadden. I could have played him over Dez, but not really going to ever do that. Um, we'll go week two. Here, I put up 224, and I lost. This is my only loss. I got 220, 224. Tony G kind of let me down. My kicker and my defense let me down. Um, oh, A.J. Green. I traded A.J. Green, uh, Sebastian Janikowski, and LaShawn McCoy for Vic. Uh, Vic, some... I forget who I traded. Vic, Phil Dawson. Uh, was it DeMarco Murray? I don't know. I don't know. It's... It was a decently weird trade. I don't remember who it was. Um, let's see here. Let's see. I only put up 184. That was a low-scoring week. That was the last time I played Thomas. Let's see here. Jamal Charles went off. Tony G. Foster got injured, I think, that week. Murray went off. My kicker got me one point. How did I? That was a weird week. That was a bad week. So 224 is my best, I think. 215 there. Uh, 218 there. I've been on a 200 roll. I barely escaped this game. Um, as you can see, let's see here. She didn't have a tight end. Uh, because if you look on her bench, Owen Daniels was hurt. Um, Gronk was hurt. And so her two tight ends got hurt. Owen Daniels got... Did he get hurt in that game? I forget. Uh, but somehow I escaped there. Dez had a bad game. Um, I... Defense. I don't know why I picked up the Cincinnati. D. I had them for like two weeks. Uh, I should have picked up the Patriots defense. Um, and that was there. We go. MJD with 20 points. There we go against Denver. Uh, Brady. You know that was Peyton Manning's bad game. He only got me 17 points. That was a close week. I can't. I escaped that one um, barely by just over a point. 1.2 points. Um, this week I barely escaped. Uh, last week. Uh, with a one only 155, uh, he had a jacked up team. I don't know. He had like Calvin on the bench. Uh, he had Jimmy Graham in. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know why Brendan had that. Uh, his team was kind of jacked up. I think I forgot. I don't know. I don't know why his team is like that. Why he played Philly's defense, but they got him seven points uh, on his bench. He could have played Cal. He would have beat me had he played Calvin uh, over. No, well, he would have been close if he would have played him over Cecil. Uh, he didn't have a kicker. Andy Dalton went off. Wallace. I don't know why. I don't know why his team had all these guys on the bench. Um, but then I have my Week 8 matchup. Hopefully I can win. Um, since I'm at home, I've got to bring you guys these videos. Um, uh, whatchamacallit? These videos on my computer. I can't bring any Xbox footage. Uh, so... 
yeah, uh, that's just a quick look at my fantasy team. I'll probably do another update in a couple weeks or something like that, uh, just showing you guys how I'm doing and whatnot. But let me know who I should play. Um, if I should play Murray, Steven Jackson, Cameron, Jordan, Bo. I'm open to like any suggestions on changes. Uh, I want to play Jarrett Boykin uh, because Cobb's on IR. Jones is James Jones. I don't think is playing, so Boykin could go huge, and I just want to take that risk. Uh, but that's going to do it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave your suggestions below. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave comments below, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.